what the heck is a way to marry your miter saw to a big jointer? Hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. I've got a one car garage uh, workshop and I have this one wall over here. Let, let me look at some measurements. I keep one of my mini tape measures right there on my miter saw because I always need it there. So why not have one there, one there, one there where you need them. All right, so anyway, I've got this space that starts with a garage door. And uh, this is my fast cap. This puppy holds out pretty well. Of course, I'm on filming, so it won't. But uh, anyway, this space, I got about, I got right here about 114 inches um, from the garage door to an entry door. And I'm not gonna put a big miter station there with all sorts of cabinets, because I need things up on the wall. So I've got a French cleat wall system. So a lot of stuff back there on that wall. But my main challenge was having room for both a miter saw and a big floor model jointer. This is the Powermatic uh, eight inch uh, helical head jointer. I really, really wanted that. So somehow I, I need them to work together. So what, here's what I've done. My miter saw platform is higher than my jointer. And sometimes, because I don't have a big miter station, here, I'm gonna do a cut and the board's gonna drop off and I need it supported. But my jointer's here and I have a different height. Well. Here's what I did. I said, let's just take a piece of some, this is some nice uh, white oak, and let's just make a jig that's the perfect height so that when these arms go over my jointer, then the surface here is level with my miter saw. So now I've got the effect of a miter saw station where I can support boards. And if I need to support the boards on the right-hand side, I just use one of the little adjustable roller items uh, in order to support it over there. So I can handle a really, really long board uh, longer than I work with. So that took care of my miter saw problem of not having a miter saw station. Then when it gets to my jointer, I can pull the jointer forward, take that off, because that's for the miter saw. Then I can just pull my jointer forward. It's on, it's on a rollable cart. And so then I've got clearance this way, so now I can uh, joint my board. So that is the way to maximize and marry a miter saw station with a floor model jointer. You don't have to settle for one of the little uh, desktop uh, jointers that really don't work very well. All right, well, in addition, I've got lots of stories. The cool thing about these jointers is they have big wings on them, and so you got, I've got a box here for off cuts of different sizes. I have some push sticks back here. I have a Powermatic uh, uh, da, 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 mortising machine there that I can pull out on top of my saw horses to strap it down when I need to use that. I've got a grinder that I can strap onto my uh, saw horses, which are called saw stallions. As you know, I've got plans for some saw stallions on my uh, website and my Etsy store, and they're the most incredible things from my workshop. They are trestle style saw horses with match fit dovetail grooves in all of the faces, and I'll put up a picture and, and all of the tops in addition to bench dog holes. So anyway, I have some Festool uh, sustainers back here. I have some other stories back here. I have some of my banding. I've got a lot of things in here, including a big old red barrel from Ace for offcuts that are gonna go to the dump yard eventually. So that's how to marry a miter saw to a big powerful jointer all in 114 inches if you've got that kind of space and to have lots of stuff up on the wall. Small sh <laughs>
Always remember, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Small workshop guy, hoping you find that helpful. How about giving me a like, a subscribe, and a comment? It'd be much appreciated. Small workshop guy, signing off.